During Soviet times, there were very few, if any, shops filled with goods to capacity. Rather, on the contrary, whenever you entered a shop, you were invariably greeted by half-empty shelves and sluggish shop assistants. The opening of the Rosehen confectionery chain in 1996 caused quite a stir, with some people going on a long-term shopping spree. The shops were looked upon as thriving oases filled with all sorts of sweets that one could imagine, fantasize, or conjure up. Such abundance was perceived as a curiosity, but over time, the people of Kiev got used to this exuberance. The spell was gone. These days, the usual sweets hall per visit is a bar or two of chocolate, a box of sweets, and one or two sweets bags. I remember how once, when I was accompanying a group of Chinese tourists, we dropped in a roast hen confectionery. But to say that we just dropped in would be incorrect since the visit had been deliberately included in the tour itinerary well in advance with the entire afternoon being allotted to it. As soon as we entered the shop, I was surprised to see how quickly the Chinese tourists got their bearings. They prudently brought large bags and immediately began packing them with piles of chocolate bars, dozens of boxes of sweets and other chocolate paraphernalia that caught their eye. The bills they had to pay were thousands rather than hundreds of hryvnias, but this was a trifle that could be ignored. To be fair, it should be said that all of them were rich people known for their high earnings and mercantile mentality, which spurred them into action with commercial motives. The truth is that these confections would have probably cost them several times more back home, so they simply couldn't resist taking advantage of the huge price difference. Half an hour later, we left the shop loaded like camels with our rich booty. Nowadays, whenever I come to a roast hen shop and see their shelves bursting with sweets, I am reminded of one very apt saying, money goes where money is.